Hi, girls and boys, boys and girls. Hey, you like to read? I know you like to read, but you know what? I'm going to show you in this book, Roxy and the Hooligans by Phyllis Reynolds Naylor, how reading can be a very good thing for you. You know, we're always talking to you about and telling you about how uh, reading gives you background knowledge and teaches you some things that are important. And if you uh, read these things and remember them, then they'll be good for you in the future. Well, this girl's name is Roxy Warbler. She's nine years old. She goes to public school number 37. There's some kids in there who are bullies. And the leader of them is Helavina. And she is called Helavina's Hooligans. Well, guess what? You're not going to believe this, but they get after Roxy because Roxy's got her ears stick out, or they think they th that they stick out. And they get after her, and then she has a playground confrontation with them. Some things happen on the playground. They chase her. They all fall into a dumpster. The dumpster gets dumped onto a barge, and it's pulled out to the ocean. Well, they get out there. They get dumped on a deserted island. Not only that, but there's two crooks, two thieves that are on the run and trying to get away from the authorities and stuff, and they're there. Mean guys. Nasty. And you know what? Helavina has always wanted to be brave like her Uncle Dangerfoot. Uncle Dangerfoot uh, traveled around with an adventurous guy called Lord Thistlebottom. And th Lord Thistlebottom wrote a book on how to survive all kinds of different stuff. So, Helavina has, I mean, uh, Roxy has written, read all the book and knows everything about it. She knows how to get out of avalanches. She knows how to do all kinds of stuff. Well, see how her reading and knowing all these types of things that Lord Thistlebottom did and that her uncle, and stories that her uncle Dangerfoot told her, see how that helps her starve off hunger, thirst, how she survives, see if she builds fires, see how they survive. And you know what? See what the hooligans do. See if if they get after Roxy and whether Roxy uh, brings them on as friends. See if they decide that being a bully is not a good thing. Well, I know you know that bullies uh, that being a bully is not a good thing, but find out what they think about it. Find out at the end if the bullies. Well, first of all, find out if they get back home. Find out what happens when Roxy tells her Uncle Dangerfoot about all of her stories and everything. Find out what happens to Helavina in here. See if the bullies turn on her. See if see if Roxy really becomes the hero and saves them all from the from the uh, deserted island. Find out what happens to the crooks. Boys and girls, I'm telling you what, you're not going to believe all the things that happen in here to Roxy. So get this book. It's called Roxy and the Hooligans by Phyllis Reynolds Naylor. And hey, this is Mr. Dean. I know you're going to love this book. So this is Mr. Dean. Thanks for joining me for another Mr. Dean's Outdoor Reading Adventures.